So, hello, Paramore. Hey, hello. I'm Jeremy. Hey. I'm doing good. What about you? Awesome. Had a good time here in Finland. Yeah. yeah, this is your first time here. I think and you just, like, a few hours ago, played your first show ever in Finland, and the uh, tent was in a uh, tent was on fire, you could say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened there? Can you tell me? Dude, we did not know what to expect. We literally pulled in, and 30 minutes later, we were on stage, and I... Nev we've never played like a first show anywhere that was that big. I don't, I'm pretty sure that was huge for like the crowd. Not only was the crowd big, but everyone was like really involved and and participating, like singing loud. It was cool. Okay, so it was not what you expected. No, we. I mean, I don't know what what I really expected, but it wasn't that. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't really even see any of the fans before we went on, and then when we walked on, it was like nuts and then when people would start clapping in the front it wasn't just the people in the front it was like all the way to the back yeah. we've never really ha we haven't had an introduction like that so it was pretty uh, welcoming well i read from the uh, internet that you were almost about to break up or something you had to have a break on your tour sure what ha was, was the touring too rough for you or what happened i think like after a while for us I mean, we've been touring pretty yeah, solid for since we started, really. You know, we, we've only taken breaks to write records and things like that. So um, it, it definitely started to wear on us really hard at the beginning of this year, which was, uh, it was our first tour of the year, oddly enough. But, like, I think that, I think everyone was just, like, kind of bursting at the seams. Like, we were kind of, I think that for once in the band's career, we were friends because we were in a band, not in a band because we were all friends and enjoyed, you know, and I think that when it gets turned around like that, it's just, it's really hard for everyone to be on the same page, and we needed to go home and focus, like refocus everything and just figure out who we were all over again. Well, what is your favorite touring pastime when you do have time off to relax? Like, you mean, what do we like to do when we're home no, no, or I on mean, the road? While on the road, while you have time to kind of oh, have yeah, your own yeah. moment and relax and do something else. Sure. Um, I remember when we were in the van, we were touring in a 12-passenger van. That was really fun because when you're in a bus, you know, you have that comfort, like, to go to. And a lot of times you lean on that. But when you're in a van, you're constantly, like, walking around and doing more. And we used to, like... There was this venue in, I think it was South Carolina, with this huge river outside of it, and we went swimming in it. And we did it again in Canada on Warp Tour last year. So we like to like, we like to swim in rivers. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun. It's an interesting hobby. I would yeah, say. I guess. <laughs> dirty rivers. You haven't found it. Well, that's a what dirty river in the middle of the festival right. area. You'd, we'll get that. You still have time with your swimsuits on, and off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit that I up. wouldn't recommend, but if you're injured, I mean, that's, <laughs> right. it's, a, it's a possibility. <laughs> I have to ask, uh, listening to the album, on the song uh, Born For This, there's a voice that sings, We Want The Airwaves Back. Yes. And I was wondering where that's from, because uh, there's this Swedish uh, hardcore band. Refused. Yeah, it's yeah. from the same song. Yeah. Because I thought it's this sample that you and them pick, but you pick it from Refused. Yeah, we... That's um, a cool band. That's like oh, the I best love hardcore Refused. band ever. So good. It's a shame that they're not still playing. Like, yeah. I, um... I wanted to actually take the sample from their song, uh -huh. like with his voice and everything, but it it didn't work. Like it didn't match up. We had to slow it down. It just sounded r ridiculous. <laughs> his voice was like, <laughs> we're, the <laughs> we're like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. would have been pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like what? <laughs> I even thought about seeing if we could call him up and be like, hey, you wanna come sing this on our record? But it just it didn't work with the time, so we ended up just I sang it and. A lot, of, a lot of kids are like, is she ripping off Refuse? Like, some people didn't get it at first that we were, like, uh, giving them a shout-out almost, like a throwback, because, um, I don't know, they're amazing. They've inspired each one of us. What about the future? Of course, the tours, but the uh, next album question everybody's asking. <laughs> Almost everybody. I don't know if everybody in the world actually <laughs> uh, We're definitely looking forward to uh, making a new album. We were all kind of... I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> no, we've uh, we've been writing and you know just kind of uh, taking any spare time that we have, like with our instruments, to uh, work on some stuff. And we've got a lot of ideas that are pretty cool. And um, you know, 
there's no ready songs yet, there's just ideas. No, there's, there's no full songs, there's just a lot of ideas, but so far, like, we're all really happy about it and not too worried about, you know, the next record, which is a good sign because, you know, it kind of, if you can go into it with a state of mind of being relaxed as opposed to being like, ah, what are we going to do? We have to make another album just as good. Like, uh, it's... It's just a lot better when you go into it, like, just kind of calm, and especially because, you know, we have songs, songs, we have some, a lot of cool ideas that we really like, so we're not too worried about it. Hey, I'm Haley. And I'm Jeremy. We're from Paramore, and you're watching The Voice.